It is as acting dean of the Faculty of Business and Economics of the University of Lausanne that I have the pleasure of welcoming you today to this conference. Uh, just a few words for thought. Globalization has reached a stage at which standardization and the challenges posed by diversity need to be seriously addressed. The general situation and the financial crisis send us a very strong social and educational warning and push us to reassess our professional goals and our contribution to society as a whole. When I say us, I mean the faculty, but I mean us all. HEC Lausanne um, is at the heart of management education, as you know, or know now. Uh, we take this role extremely seriously. Uh, so it is with this warning in mind that we have positioned our school as the faculty for responsible management with as motto, as you can see here, responsible learning, responsible leading. We have put a lot of energy in order to propose an educational framework offering a better balance between technical and conceptual knowledge and on one hand and personal judgment development on the other. We strongly believe that competent corporate leaders are those that use an adequate mix of sound common sense and management skills, allowing them to fully endorse their role. So obviously we cannot completely teach at the university what common sense is. It has to start earlier, but we can still try and push in this direction, reminding our students that common sense is a good thing to use and to use all the time. Um, so we have used our centennial because we are 100 years old this year, but still young and dynamic. And we have used this centennial as an opportunistic springboard to launch long-lasting and durable actions, um, to convey our intimate conviction that complexity rhymes with responsibility and should be explicitly introduced or valorized in all fields and activities. That's why uh, we, are, we have published a book um, here. published by Pearson International. We have also published a CSR label. Um, we have also launched a number and of uh, interesting actions, and that's also why we are here today. Um, we are here to talk with you and our guest speakers about responsible finance and responsibility as a whole. And we do that with the complicity of Swissnext that has helped us organize this meeting and our ambassador, junior ambassador, one of our students uh, that is here sitting at Swissnext for a few months. And we will have one coming on a rolling um, way here so that we have somebody in all Swissnexts all the time to uh, reinforce our presence and develop relationships with the community and regions where the Swissnexts are active. And with the complicity of UBS that hosts us here in this incredible place with an absolutely marvelous view there outside with our three invited um, speakers that I will let uh, introduce themselves when they come here on stage, and also with the complicity of Swiss Dreams Singapore that offers the beers later during what we call the friendship cocktail that we are going to offer later on. So um, I will uh, leave the floor to my colleague Michael Hockinger, who came with me from Switzerland. We'll talk about responsible finance, and you will see it exists. And um, after his, speech, <laughs> after his speech, you have five minutes question and answer. This is the same with the two other speakers. 
then maybe if you have some burning <laughs> questions that remain, uh, remain stuck on your lips uh, when you heard the first or the second talk and come to your mind after hearing the three talks, maybe they won't say exactly the same thing, so you will have an interesting discussion. You have five more minutes, and then we can continue the discussion uh, during the cocktail. Thank you very much. Thank you.